Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here with uh, Akhtar. Akhtar from oh, yeah. Grenadier. And as you can see behind us, we've got the Grenadier uh, in the background. So this is what the Defender should have been, is that right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's a ground up design from uh, Ineos. Ineos, the gentleman that owns it, Jim Ratcliffe, billionaire. Uh, he loves Defenders. And when they stopped making the Defenders, they wanted, he wanted something that he could use as a utility vehicle as it were. So this is a ground up design, powder coated externally, internally it's cavity waxed, galvanized steel bodywork, aluminium doors. Two engines, you have a BMW 3 litre petrol or a BMW diesel engine as well. I was just saying I've got the Defender at home, a, an older one, yeah. one of the last ones, and I've been thinking about something to go alongside it. Yeah. And something like this would be fantastic yeah, because yeah. it's something which I could take to a show like today. Yeah. I didn't take the Defender today because I'm worried about them getting nicked in the car park. <laughs> yeah, you come yeah, back and got no yeah, doors. Yeah. And uh, something like this would be fantastic as a <laughs> main like workhorse on our farm back home, I, I, I mean, but also with, to run alongside our defend, my old Defender. As yeah. That's more of a weekend thing or, or yeah. investment. I mean, the old Defenders, if you drive it off-road, are incredible. They're, yeah. they're untouchable. This car is that plus more is wow. even better than a defender but it's road manners as well it's you don't have defender elbow so you've actually yes. got room yeah <laughs> it's actually comfortable un open up your window <laughs> yeah. and put your arm out uh on yeah. the road manners it's been tuned accordingly for the roads as well and people have mentioned when they've been in the car does it have air suspension so every compromise that the defender has people have lived with the defenders because there's nothing else to replace it yeah so this is the new not the new defender but the new utility vehicle wow. for the 21st century. So hopefully model. it's something I, I could, I'd love to try one of these with uh, with my old Defender yeah. and see what it's like to live with it for a little bit. And, yeah, and, and yeah. Be uh, I mean the production starts in July next year, delivery start in September next year as well. You can place uh, a deposit immediately uh, to secure your place in line. It's a £450 fully refundable deposit that just secures your place in the queue. Uh, when the cars are actually available over the next few months, I'm sure Ineos will be in touch with yourself to let you have a go, just so you can do a comparison and see what that'd the cars are. That would be brilliant, like. see what it's like one compared to when I had the new Defender and also to see what it's like with my old Defender. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I mean, this yeah. car is nice and day different. I mean, I can show you the interior. Yeah. Uh, so the interior is completely washable. You can hose it out. Uh, it's got drain plugs in the floor. This is an interior prototype. So my, well, there'll be very, very slight detailed differences. Uh, the roof panel up top, that's more for your technical uh, oh, wow functionality so you have your diff locks front and rear you like James Bond yeah exactly. I don't think there's an ejector seat oh, you, know, you don't know it depends what car you get into yeah but uh, yeah it's, it's I love it I love yeah. it I, initially I was very sceptical when the first car when the car was first announced and what have you I saw all the kind of like build up to it but physically yeah. Seeing the car, but having worked with the manufacturer as well, Ineos, it's like his his focus in building the yes. best car possible. It's evident. It shows in the yeah. product. I yeah. mean, for example, uh, the sat nav. It doesn't have a sat nav unit. It uses Google Maps or Waze. Wow. Only because uh, a it cuts down on cost, uh, and b a sat nav doesn't become redundant the moment you drive out the showroom. Yes. Yeah. So everyone uses. I use my phone on a holder with yeah. Waze anyway now because yeah. the sat nav's out of date or. You know, exactly. It's got to be updated. Exactly. It's clever little things like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it will be a massive sales. The amount of interest we've had today is incredible. For, is that right? From farmers? And, from farmers, yeah. from people that actually use their vehicles for work. Exactly. And also, yeah. obviously, apart from work, like life in general. Yeah, motorway it, journeys. Exactly. And, yes. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they're both uh, the engines are Euro 6 compliant as well. Right. I love the fact you put a petrol engine in because obviously I, I'm not the biggest fan of ad blue on my yeah. vehicles or tractors yeah. so I can avoid the ad blue yeah. I can enjoy the petrol head thrills yeah. and then uh, it's the win, best win. It's the, I mean the, the engines were sourced from BMW because they are the best in the, in, in the world wow. I mean they're almost like a, a modern legend in terms of, yeah. of reliability uh, yeah. and that's what you want from a working vehicle yes yeah. Yes, it can look pretty, but it's down to nuts and bolts as to what you do with it and how yeah. durable it is and then obviously uh, auto system, so is it ZF gearbox auto? Uh, eight speed ZF auto eight speed, gearbox. Yeah. Uh, you've got a manual option as well, you just push it over to oh, wow. the right, uh, left hand side, I and mean, then you can control the gears manually. And then four wheel, four wheel drive, sorry. Permanent four wheel drive, oh, and you have a centre differential as well, which is manually operated as well. Wow. Thanks uh, very much for this day. I cannot wait to try one of these. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. 
and we'll be in touch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll be able to see what see what it's like on the farm. Yeah, so, uh, thanks very much for that. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks. Yeah, it was quite a, that was quite a surprise. We just went and had a look at the Gran Granadilla, which is a replacement to the Land Rover Defender, but a bit more of a practical one. And it's had very good positive feedback from a lot of farmers here today. Uh, you can see they've got the JCB over there, JCB TM320. There's loads of equipment here. It's a brilliant day. And I think the thing is because everyone's been cooped up on their farms over the last couple of years with what's been going on in the world, it's nice, as I said yesterday, to finally get out and about. Oh, West Muck Spreaders, <laughs> Mercedes Unimogs. Look at that one. What a special piece of kit that is, hey? So just having seen that uh, Grenadier, um, hopefully they'll start building them later on next year and we'll get one on the farm to try it out against the new Defender, uh, which I tried, and the Defender at home, my old one. Um, yeah, that'll be exciting. And just walking along to the stand where we're going to find this piece of machinery, we've got a couple of people here demoing these new tracked lawn mowers. I want one of them. a bit. I didn't know if that was my lawn I'd be a bit I'd be a bit worried if I was doing that thing. Alright so here it is guys this is my piece of machinery which we've been planning on building for some time and here it is it's the Ollie's Farm front weight box so it's, it's got a 600 kilogram weight box in the front which is made of concrete that can be taken in and out uh, the actual weight box weighs 400 kilograms this weighs 600 so all in all it's one tonned leave a comment in the comment section what you think of the box are you happy with this design uh, we will be changing the lid just over here this is going to be changed to black and then the colors on the side we're going to change that to red and white um, so leave a comment about this I'm really happy with the way it's turned out a huge thanks to Cherry Products for making this happen and she's going to be back home on the front of the 6R before long as a front weight for cultivating with the cattle float and I'm planning in the summer to take this weight out, put the net wrap in for my new baler and get going. So that is going to be awesome. Alright so walking along there we've been looking at my new box which we've um, recently acquired. That'll be coming back to the farm pretty soon. I'm just here with Steve, Steve from Pottinger, Pottinger and we're looking at this Pottinger mower. Uh, which will hopefully go on the front of the John Deere to do some margin contracts next year and also to mow our silage. So what's unique about this um, for the job I'm doing compared to what else is on the market? You've got a three metre mower. The biggest unique feature is it's all made by us. Right. The bed is our drive line all the way through. So you've got the tri-drive system, yeah. which is three gears in contact at any one time, which gives it a real strong bed. Right for any uh, obstacles it may hit, it may just there's no shear device. Yeah. So you've got a longevity of your bed. Right. And it's made by Pottinger. Yeah, and they're, they're made in Austria, is that right? Yes, it's all made in yeah. Austria in-house. Because I've noticed with the Synchro I've got, I know it's a different piece of equipment, that has been a really good piece of kit on the farm. Yeah, you know, well made, made in Austria. Um, we did have a little problem with the discs just breaking at the back, but other than that, it has been a good piece of kit. And this looks like it could fit the bill. So under here, you can see, there's metal tying conditioners with rubber stops to take the shock absorber. And again, that is all made in-house right, in that's, Pottinger. Oh, that's put in Austria. Yes, yeah. it's the same conditioner if yeah. you were going to a three metre, three and a half metre, four metre. Right. It's all the same. All right, right, so we just had a look at Pottinger. I've got the brochure there. Um, and I've just come along to the crone stand and we're looking at the crone Easy Cut F320, which is another option for my front mower. Um, we're not going to go for a back mower, just the front one for the stewardship zone. And I'm, I'm just trying to compare the two, you know, in build quality and price. Which one do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, I do like the look of the Pottinger, but I, I think the Crone is a kind of a cleaner finish in a way. We'll have to see. Uh, it all comes down to price, really. I've got the price of the Pottinger, so you, um, see how I get on with that. This does look a good bit of kit. These are made in Germany. I have to go home and do my research. It's nice to see things in the flesh, though, because you know what the build quality is like. And Nice. Yeah, that's a good bed in there. That's all the details you need to you know, find out about them. I've got a lot of reading to do about this tonight. So it's been a pretty good day today. I've seen the Grenadier, seen the new front box, which will be coming to the farm soon. And we also have been, have been looking at front mowers. I didn't manage to get any time to look at balers. But what I have just found on the way home is this lovely New Holland T6 180. Funnily enough, very similar to what I've just had on demo. Um, but finished off in a silver. Wow, that's nice.
just around the day off, I've been looking at this new, they've got on uh, stand here, this brand new John Deere 6155R, ultimate edition, with a front PGA already fitted. Uh, rear wheel weights, the chrome exhaust, the new wing mirrors, Camambro joystick, and it's got the John Deere LED lights as well. 71 plate, that is cracking. Somebody's, I don't know if someone's left the ignition on, but there it is, Camambro joystick. I love that chrome exhaust. If we ever changed our 6R, it would probably be for something like this. That is not bad. Not bad. That's from Ripon, where we just bought our old one from. Well, I say old one, it's, it's only a couple of old, a few years old now, but you know, nowadays, these new tractors, you know, I was speaking to some farmers today, they just don't last as long as they used to, so you've got to keep them changed every three or four years. But that is a cracking tractor. I love the rear wheel weights, the Ultimate Edition, the pop window on the side, a little bit of fresh air in, the sunroof, you get all the everything, don't you? You may as well just go for the Ultimate Edition, but oh, I bet it'd be a pretty penny for that. It was my first time coming to the Midlands Machinery Show, it was brilliant. And the meet and greet went really well at Cherry Products. I met loads of you guys and you managed to get lots of pictures and we had a good time. So we'll probably do something like that again. It will be at Llama or at the Norfolk Show later on next year. Um, but just an all round sick day. So thanks for watching today's video. We'll be back on the farm tomorrow, back home. I've got my research to do now with the Pottinger uh, front mower and also the Chrome one. I'm going to have a look at that as well. So stay positive and I'll catch you on the next one.